My name is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God. And today I want to talk to you about desires. You know, a lot of people have a problem with material things and with desires, but when you think about it, it doesn't make any sense because when you're born again, when you ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life, when you receive the free gift that he paid for your sins, you become born again or a new creature. And when you're a new creature, you have the DNA of God in you. You have God's, just like a daddy passes on to his kids, you have that inside of you. And when you're a new creature and born again, and have that inside of you, that means that you have God's desires, that you're not gonna be desiring things that are ungodly. And when you do, you'll begin to realize that they're not. They're not something that God would desire. God puts desires in your heart. He wants you to dream big. One of the scriptures says that He wants to give you more than you ask, think, or imagine. So He wants you to imagine things. He wants you to desire big and better things. He wants you to prosper. Don't be afraid to prosper. The Bible says part of our covenant is He gives us power to get wealth. And that He wants us to prosper in all things. So prosperity is not a bad thing. People would have you think that being prosperous and financially set and uh, having more than what they think is enough is wrong. Desiring material things is wrong. It's not. The focus is, is God and Jesus. And, and this is a mentality. Think about this as far as being prosperous goes. Um, <laughs> okay, this is the way some people might think. And if you think this way, you need to stop. People think that Okay, while you're on earth here, you're supposed to be poor and beggarly and take a vow of poverty. Think about this. If you take a vow of poverty, why did God create gold and silver and gemstones and everything precious on the earth? Did he create it so you could take a vow of poverty and the wicked could own all those things? And then when you, because it's a sin, and then when you get to heaven, there'll be streets of gold and gemstones, walls, and it's okay then to sin by desiring those things. That mentality doesn't make any sense. If desiring prosperity and blessing and good things here on earth is a sin, it's going to be a worse sin in heaven. Because in heaven they have streets of gold, walls made out of gemstones. So you'll be sinning even greater in heaven if you think poverty is wrong, is the right thing on earth. <clears throat> that doesn't make no sense. God did not bless the wicked with gold and silver and prosperity and houses and lands so that they had a switch hands, so that they could be blessed. He put it here for his kids. Because we're created in His image and earth is created in Heaven's image. So prosperity, abundance, a bless blessing, and material wealth are things that God wants us to have. It's His abundance. It's, it's His dream for His kids. It's a dream for our kids. And when you're a new creature, you're not going to love things more than money. Because we're going to have abundance so that we can give and sow into other people's lives. Not so we can become greedy. And fearful because you reap what you sow so you want to be able to sow but don't be afraid to dream big and be prosperous it's something God wants you to have and my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching walks with God and I'm